Hello everyone, welcome to your reading. This reading is intended to feel like a personal reading, so it should resonate all the way. And if it does, you know that this is your personal message. So let's get into it. Let's see what's going to come through, who this is for. What message does Spirit have for somebody? All right, right there, actually. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands, Four of Wands, the Lovers, King of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Seven of Wands, Ace of Cups, and Three of Pentacles. Okay, so this uh, definitely feels like a love message coming through, and it's quite strong. Somebody in the past here coming through as this King of Pentacles energy, which means they presented themselves as open. I want a commitment. I want love. I want family. I want a house. I want to build. I want all these things. Okay. This is who I am. This is what I want. However, what happened is they were anything but they were not a king of pentacles they were a knight of wands energy whether they're masculine or feminine okay they are a knight of wands energy and they have left you feeling very confused rejected out in the cold they have you second guessing yourself your self-esteem is low like you are all mixed up okay because of what was presented and it's like they, they pulled you in with Four of Wands, Lovers, King of Pentacles. But then once, you know, things were established, then the truth has come out. And it's put you into a place of anxiety because there's a lot of games being played. And it's quite confusing because of who, who you know this person to be, like their character, is not at all what you have been given okay and so it's very confusing very perplexing for you and I feel this person pulled you in like they really were like hey and they were talking about the future and all of this stuff just to like completely go the opposite direction all of a sudden they feel distant all of a sudden they don't know what they want all of a sudden now you're feeling insecure reaching out and things like that because it's like you feel like you're bothering them here's the thing though You're about to hear from them, or they're about to, to turn the other way again. Okay? If you're not speaking, you're about to hear from them. If you are speaking, they're, they're about to go back into this mode and give you a lot of attention. And I want to build with you. I want to grow with you. I have all these feelings for you. What gets me is why this person has two sides. So let's pull some cards about that. Why do they pull away? Why do they go cold? Okay, so we have King of Cups, Eight of Cups, Page of Swords. Okay. So this person does get very sensitive. 
about stuff. It's like the wind blows the wrong way and they're upset. And so with this, I see there's a lot of emotional confusion within this person. They're very back and forth within themselves and what they want. It's like once they start feeling something emotionally, they kind of lose themselves in that moment and say all these beautiful things based on the vibration of that energy that they're experiencing. But then it's like you go to sleep and wake up the next day and now they're sober. They're not caught up in that energy. And then it kind of freaks them out. This is so interesting. This person can go really deep and open up and connect and share their feelings and make you feel important. But then they can as easily, it's like close up and has you questioning, wow, have I been misreading this connection? Have I been misreading this person? Because when they kind of close up, and disconnect you almost feel as though your presence is a bother to them or talking to them reaching out to them is a bother to them and then if you try to pull your energy back then all of a sudden they're back to this lovey-dovey I'm all open see look at all the yellow here it's bright it's you know joyful all is well and then in this set of cards we have you know the whitish gray the blue and then the blue and it's just a different vibe right and that's the two vibes of this person and they 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 decide at times that you know what this is just too much for me I'm, I'm gonna walk away but then they go to sleep, wake up, and they're, the sobering facts hit them. Oh my gosh, why did I do that? I miss this person. I'm thinking about them. This is like, pull you in, push you away. Pull you in, push you away. So they're very, their emotions are just kind of up and down, back and forth. Yeah, I don't want to take that out because I want to talk about that. Okay. All right. Okay, so this is not going to be a news flash to you. What's up with this person and their ex? All right, the ex before you or just somebody else. What's up with that person? Because that's the difference here. I don't feel that they're with that person, but there's still something going on. Because when that person, their ex, comes back around or is messaging them or something, that's when they go cold on you. But they're not with this person. They're not physically dating them, seeing them. It feels at a distance to me. In fact, the ex is coming through as the uh, Queen of Cups, whether it's a masculine or feminine, which tells me this person does try to emotionally manipulate. Okay, so this person... They don't want this person back, okay? They don't. So your person's ex, that ex does not want your person back. They have no intention of being together or whatever. The way that their ex views them is, let me put you up on a shelf and let me take you down when I need to pick me up, when I need to feel good about myself when I need to know that somebody out there wants me and loves me. This person is so manipulative. 
this person's ex really like just plays a lot of mind games with them and plays on their emotions and I do feel that they had like they they were very in love like your person was very in love with this ex and this ex really just played games with them and they've never really quite recovered from that and so their ex tries to control them and if they have kids that's what this is about but that's what's going on that's why they run hot and cold with you because of this and they're not with this person so I'm like how do they have so much control and they'll tell you no I don't want my ex back no I don't think about my ex no they're drama they're this they're that in fact the more negative stories they tell you about their ex tells you that's just how much they're not over it okay it's like if they're talking really negative about this ex person yeah it's probably true because this person's very manipulative however it's because they're not over it the hurt the heartache like this person screwed them over so bad and when it comes to you they definitely see a chance at love another chance at love and with you they do feel that you're stable and you offer a way different vibration okay um, than what they've dealt with but it's almost like they're programmed into the drama and when things are going right it starts freaking them out because they're not used to that when it comes to love and romance this person is so used to fights arguments drama just oh it's a mess that's what they're used to that's what what's programmed in their subconscious as much as they want to say I don't care about this ex I don't want them back their drama they're terrible they're this they're that they're whatever they're not over what has happened to them and with you they see you with this ace of cups and this lovers energy and they're very drawn into it and they feel the stability of you they feel the realness of your emotion and your caring you are a very different energy but it's almost as though they cannot handle it they don't know how to handle it because that's not what they're used to and then this ex starts doing saying oh I miss you and see this ex this queen of cups I feel multiple energies around this person so they just they play games this uh, person is somebody who wants everybody that's ever dated them to be hung up on them for life okay that's the energy and they've done their <clears throat> their damage to your person Right, so we have Judgment, Eight of Wands, and the Emperor. So this is how does, you know, this King of Cups feel about you. And we got Judgment, Eight of Wands, Emperor. Which means this person knows that you are the real thing. You are offering love, stability, a future. Okay, they get that. They see that about you. And there's part of them that wants to hide this truth of their weakness because they don't want you to judge them. They don't want you to think badly of them. They love your energy. They love talking to you. They love having you in their life. And I'm telling you, some days this person wakes up 
and says, I just want to be with you, the one watching this reading, okay? Some days they wake up and feel that, and you're all they're thinking about, and you make them feel excited, but then <clears throat> the stupid ex, oh, I don't like this energy, this ex has a way. It's like uh, the further this person pulls away towards you, the ex feels that distance and then really starts, oh, I'm thinking about you, oh, I'm missing you, please forgive me. But it's never, let's get back together. It's this ex is always saying that they need more time and all of this. And, you know, this person might try to hide this relationship with you from this ex. Because, and you would take it as, you know, why are you trying to hide me? What's, why? Why can't you just be real? Why can't you just say that you're seeing me, that we got this going on, whatever? And the reason is they don't want to upset that ex because if this ex knew like how deep in they were going with you, it would be like all hell would break loose, even though they're not together. All hell would break loose. This person is definitely still trying to control, doesn't want their ex to get that far away, but wants to live their life and do their thing. And they know how to play the game well. And I'm just feeling like there's a, a kid involved in this, maybe. Like they have a child together. Because this person is, will use and manipulate. And so when it comes to you and this person and your relationship... They've really got to get over the ex. They've got to get over the past. They've got to decide it doesn't matter what this person thinks anymore about what they're doing in their life. But there's some fear-based energy for some reason. And I don't feel it's necessarily that this person wants to go back to their ex. I just feel right now they're more focused on what is it that I do want? Because they're still holding on to this for some reason as well. But it feels more fear-based. And honestly, I feel for you, you've got to put your foot down and be like, look, if you're not over the past, your ex, whatever, then we just, we can't be right now. Because I need somebody who's emotionally available. I need somebody who's all in with me the way I'm emotionally available, the way I'm all in with you. You're going to have to put it out there. Because right now, this person can kind of come and go as they please. And if you're afraid, well, if I put it out there, then they're just going to run away. Let them run away because they're not really there with you anyways if that's what they do, right? You need somebody strong and with you mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. Even if they're not with the ex, that ex energy is still very much in their aura. And so I feel you've got to put your foot down and tell that person, you work it out. You've got to work it out. You've got to decide. You can't back and forth. And if it hurts or whatever, you need to let it burn and push through that. Because there's not enough of you for the ghost of the past. And then me in the physical being neglected. So you've got to tell them. You've got to put your foot down. I feel that's what Spirit's saying here for you is... You've got to be the one to tell them and put them in their place and you decide because they're going to go back and forth as long as whatever it takes. But if you kind of shock them, shock their system and you decide and say, no, I'm done with this, 
either you want me, all of me, I can have your whole heart, or you still need to mend your heart and heal over your ex. Like, you decide. I'm done. And I feel like that kind of jolts them, shocks them into a bit of a reality. Alright, so that is your personal reading. I hope that this has helped, and I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.